So I just want to introduce everyone to start off. Um, I'm Bargavi, uh, and we have in the group Bryce, Clement, Edgar, and William. And we decided to go with First Co. HVAC production for our senior capstone project. Uh, First Co. is owned by Greg Nation, and they have two production facilities in Dallas, and they've contributed over 5 million units to the HVAC industry. Here we have some of the different companies that have purchased HVAC units from First Co. The main goal of our project is to improve operational efficiency of the blower housing production process. This is our project charter and this covers the problem statement, goal statement, scope, business case and benefits, timeline, and team members. This is our project plan. It entails every um, single detail about how we're going to go about the project. Okay, so here we have a couple of pictures of the UR10E series, which is the robot that's currently being used at Frosco Company. Um, this robot is used to pick up the sheet metal from the punch press. This is the process map that we created and we tried making it as detailed as possible so we could see every single process in the whole system. This is a time study that we conducted. We took 10 samples for each process and for all seven processes, it takes about 140 seconds. This is a Pareto chart for the current state blower housing manufacturing process. It's a visual representation of the time study in the previous slide for all the collected times and it's very helpful to quickly visualize what processes take the longest, what processes take the shortest, so we can go in and optimize uh, any process that we need. This is a slide for the engineering standards in our project. In this slide, we can see the constraints. In this slide, we see value added and non-value added activities. In the chart, you can see the operations from start to finish, starting with the punch and robot palletized and ending with spot weld side pieces to the blower housing unit plus palletized. As we just explained from the previous uh, slide, uh, we conducted an analysis of the current state process and we kind of identified all of the value and non-value added activities. This is a five Y diagram that we created. And the first question is, why is production slow? And as we keep asking questions, we find out that there's no automated system in place to assure completion of units. This On continuing the root cause analysis, we decided to use a fishbone diagram as a method to show what causes the palletizing system to be inefficient and what leads to its lack of optimization. This is our updated project charter. After going through the process analysis, we have added new elements to each category. For our next update, we will develop a set of recommendations. We will create a cost justification spreadsheet, which we plan to show to the CEO of First Co. We will plan and implement operator retraining, and we will develop a quality control plan, which we believe will help us keep an improved process at its current level. Thank you everyone at Innovation Day for listening to our presentation and I hope everyone has a great day.